Today on Bernadette TV, is it time to flex your hustle muscle? Hello and welcome to Bernadette TV, online TV to help you be the best you can be in your business and your life. And today is a special episode for everyone who is just starting out in business or maybe you've been in business for a while but it's just not taking off in the way you hoped. And today I want to talk to you about flexing your hustle muscle. Let me explain what I mean by this. I've literally coached thousands of people over the years and I've often asked the question myself, why is it there are some people that they just seem to take off and their business launches like a rocket into the stratosphere and other people just limp along and it doesn't really happen as fast as they would like. Well, I've come to a conclusion and I've come to a conclusion that group number one, they flex their hustle muscle. You know, in business, there are two types of people. There are people who make things happen. There are people who wonder what happened. And if you're in business, you have to decide with both feet that you're going to be someone who makes things happen. And if you're just waiting for the whole plan to be laid out for you and you're not willing to take action, then you're never going to get off the ground. And a big part, of, especially when you're getting started with business, is doing things without the security of knowing how everything is going to turn out. And this is what I mean by flexing your hustle muscle. You know, there's a saying, it's easier to turn a ship that's moving in the wrong direction than it is to turn a ship that's not moving a trip at all. And it's exactly that in business also. When you take action, you get feedback, you get results. You either get the results that you want or you, there are the results that you don't want. But either way, you're one step wiser, even if you've just eliminated something that won't work. You got feedback because you took action. So you have to commit to taking action. And I want to give you some direct pointers on things that you can do to flex your hustle muscle. So instead of sitting, trying to figure out you know, all the great offerings that you're going to put together and trying to perfect them, how about just getting out there and having some conversations with some prospective customers or existing customers even if you've got them. Ask them questions about their biggest challenges. Ask them what they're trying to achieve in the area that you work in and see what you can come up with or may already have that's a match to that, that can support them. That's flexing your hustle muscle. And anybody that I've given this exercise to who's actually followed through and gone out and done it always tells me that they make money from it. So I've actually given you a money-making action right there. The next thing I want to say to you about flexing your hustle muscle is that version one is better than version none. You know, sometimes we're so busy perfecting, improving, trying to make something perfect that we're missing massive opportunities because there's a point where you just need to get out there and take what you've got to the marketplace, get some feedback. That's what I mean by flexing your hustle muscle. The final thing I want to say about flexing your hustle muscle is you do what you can with what you've got where you are. You know, when I first started out, I wanted to do phone skills training, but I couldn't always get the paying work that I wanted. So I literally had a whatever it takes attitude. At one point, I was even working in a telesales center as an agent making calls because it was connected to what I wanted to do, even though it wasn't part of my big and final plan. So you just got to be willing to do whatever it takes to get where you want to go. So I hope I've inspired you to flex your hustle muscle today. I'd love to hear how this has impacted you. Go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below or come on over to my blog, BernadetteDoyle.com and leave a message there. And while you're there, why don't you sign up for my email updates so I can send you even more information. You know, what I'm sharing with you here is just the tip of the iceberg. That's all from me and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Bernadette TV.